Hey Void, Baby Rizzo here, continuing my 31 days for, I guess this is my fourth year in the row of doing something like this, though other years I went a little crazy and either tried to cram as many movies as impossible, or had more of a theme. As you've seen, there isn't really so much of a theme this year, but I'm just re-watching movies that I haven't seen for a while that I, for the most part, really like, or just would like to see again because it has been so long. Hence uh, my earlier instances into frailty. Been a long time. Really like that one. Un. Or, uh, Poltergeist. Classic. Things like that. So, uh, day four. Right? No. Yeah, we're on day four. Okay, throwing myself off. Um, anyway. So, with this one, uh, we're, uh, trying to make sure I'm correct on that. Yeah, okay. That's right, 28 days later. I was forgetting about that one. Three. On the fourth day in a row, I'm forgetting what movies I've watched. Not a great sign, Void. Not a great sign. Anyway, uh, Ghostbusters. Is that a segue? Not really? Oh, well. I don't care. I love Ghostbusters. I grew up with Ghostbusters. <clears throat> I was... Back when I was uh, a kid, it was Ninja Turtles... And Ghostbusters. That was that was my childhood right there. I had a bunch of the action figures based on the cartoon series. I watched the cartoon series. I watched this one. But I'm not gonna lie, Void. When I was a kid, this movie scared the fuck out of me. It did. Mostly. It was the... The, the Gozer dogs. Those demon hellhound looking things. Those scared me when I was a kid. And in a big way. And, but the worst scene for me was the scene involving them and the when uh, when Nana Barrett's in the chair and just the hands start coming up and grabbing her. It freaked me out. And I'm not too proud to admit it. Ghostbusters, when I was a kid, scared the shit out of me. I viewed it more as a scary movie than a funny one at the time because when I was as young as I was, because I was under 10 when I saw this. I was like between... 7 and 7 and 10 somewhere in there. That, yeah. I was not prepared. And all the jokes were going over my head, so I just saw the scariness. Well, that said, it stuck with me. And now I do really appreciate the humor now that I do understand it. N not that I'm just getting it. I've been watching this movie for years, and... It didn't take you that long. Some of it longer than I should have, probably sure, but... Anyway. If you don't know the plot, uh... Three scientists, then Ven uh, Venkman, Stans, and Spangler, played by Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, and Harold Ramis, respectively, are then studying at... Uh, then working with the university to study paranormal phenomena. And they finally actually encounter a real-life ghost. However, that's about the time their funding is cut and they're kicked off campus because they're viewed as not very good scientists, particularly Dr. Venkman. And uh, they decide to go into business as ghost catchers because they believe they can do it. And well, as they do, ghost fever kind of sweeps up because it's oddly there's an odd amount of ghosts suddenly popping up as if something were about to happen. One of their first clients is Dana Barrett, played by Sigourney Weaver, who is has a very odd uh happening in her kitchen and uh wants the ghostbusters to look into it well that's uh there's a lot going on in that building and in that kitchen and well they just and that's pretty much where it goes from there i'm like i don't know if you can just point and like spoiling a night that movie from 1984 at this point, but I, I won't go into all the details. If you haven't seen it, definitely go watch it. So, the effects actually hold up fairly decently. For, for the most part. There's a few things that definitely don't look as good as I'm sure they did in the 80s. Most of the ghosts actually do look pretty good. Like, the Slimer ghost, that looks fine. The Then the Gozer dogs still look fucking scary. Uh... Except for when they're actually out and running, when it's clearly like a superimposed animation. Then it looks a little bit, uh, definitely dated. But when they're just there as like the animatronic, that looks scary. 
Uh, most of the ghosts look just fine. So, yeah, the, the effects actually hold up fairly well. Um, Staple of Marshmallow Man, even that costume, because it's supposed to be silly looking, so it does the trick. The humor is spot on. It's it's full of such a straight face, and a lot of it's such dry humor that it it is. It takes itself so seriously that it's funny, and that it's like the characters are so into what they're doing that they don't realize how silly everything is around them. So that the the humor really does work. <laughs> My only criticisms really come into the relationship between Peter and Dana, which is. 0 to 10 and, like, nothing. Like, at first she can't stand him as he's relentlessly hitting on her while she's supposed to be investigating her case. Then he try, and then he comes back with a little bit of information and pretty much blackmails her into a date. And then all of a sudden she's, like, okay with dating him. It's like, really? I mean, then at the end, uh, you can understand a little bit at the end because he does actually save her and then, uh... The, so the ending kiss sure makes sense, but the fact that them as a couple, they didn't really have the greatest chemistry. I mean, she had good chemistry of dealing with them. what the what the hell is this guy doing, and why do I have to deal with him? So her eye rolls around him were spot on, but they didn't really have the romantic chemistry that they were trying to, and that's is because uh, Venkman is so scummy throughout this. Um, yeah. This one's definitely one of the 80s PG movies, though, because a lot of this would not fly in a PG movie today, so it definitely would be more of a PG-13 with the mostly the sex-related things, and, I, yeah, and for me, it's a little too scary for PG. But, it could just be me. Alright. <clears throat> so, for me, despite those minor nitpicks, I still gotta give this one a 10. It's... I love Ghostbusters, and always have, and always will. It's the characters are really what make it. They are so well that realize that they just. And that's everyone, even the characters I haven't mentioned. Uh, Annie Potts playing Janine, and uh, er the great Ernie Hudson I didn't even mention, which he also is. Cr is criminally underutilized in this. Uh, him coming in a little bit later and then not getting as much screen time is a bit of a shame because his portrayal of Winston is really fun. So, yeah. Uh, for, despite those shortcomings, it's still a 10. It's a lot of fun. Check out Ghostbusters if you haven't seen it. And if you have seen it, rewatch it. It holds up. It's worth seeing, particularly this time of year. Well, I got on it. Go.